the crew, not passengers. We are crew. 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 We are crew, not passengers. Cascaba High School does a really good job of integrating and making it a very accepting environment for all students. We're also very willing to bring up difficult conversations, have conversations within our community, and be able to trust one another. We're all connected in a way, but that doesn't mean there isn't segregation here. Uh, have you guys noticed that here in the Cascaba community? Obviously segregation is well and alive here, but it's like unconscious. So we've uh, created this structure called Courageous Conversations, which is in crew. They're student-facilitated conversations on the most important topics on kids' minds. Some of the things that we've talked about in Courageous Conversation um, are related to race, mental illness. We just did a session on mental illness the other day. Even when you do reach out for help, sometimes people are just like, oh, get over it. It's like, oh, they're like, you're like, supposed to be like, stressed. You're a teenager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One, like each of you go around and shoot that bullet. I'm so stressed out, I'm going to kill myself. A friend texts you after receiving a two on a project. I am so retarded. I think a big core of joking about mental illness or any illness is not to trivialize it. If something someone said really bothers you, it's your choice whether you want to tell them why it bothered you or just stay silent. But then you're putting it back on the victim of somebody with mental illness to stick up for themselves. It's up to us to like call them out, you know, like we all forget sometimes and we, we all have our own unconscious biases. Whatever students really want to talk about but are struggling to find a constructive way to do, that's what these conversations are for. We've done topics on marginalized groups such as the LGBTQ community. We've talked about uh, white privilege. It's always the black people reaching out to the white people. Like, I don't know their, know the experience of people in other groups so then I feel uncomfortable trying to insert myself in and maybe because of my privilege I feel I have to not do that because if I do I'm making some assumption or imposing my um, privilege on a group that didn't even want me. It's more easier to fall in step with people you feel comfortable with than people you don't and that you can't relate to but that doesn't go to me that doesn't mean that we still can't have conversation with other counterparts like we are still like really inclusive and welcoming I have a sense of what a functional society can look like that's the goal is that they experience here um, what community can really be so they can take those lessons and help build communities um, that are as effective and are as loving and um, compassionate wherever they go So Closing Circle is a chance to kind of wrap up the day. They get to apologize, so to kind of make any reparations for things that happened through the day. I'm sorry, Dylan, for pushing. Once you apologize, we're welcome back into the, the community. Sorry, Damien and Felipe for saying Friends seeing other people make themselves vulnerable helps them be able to do it too. But yeah, thanks for apologizing for that. It's important to use kind language at school. I think the crew structure helps kids feel like they can be vulnerable because there will be a point in the year where everybody will be in that position of having to apologize, even teachers. Scrubs for making noise when you were talking. And apologizing is really hard for people of all ages, and so to be able to be vulnerable in front of a group of your peers at six years old is really powerful and important. I think during difficult conversations in the crew, I just want to be an example of calmness that uh, the kids can look at and see that I'm also really engaged with the speaker and really compassionate. They didn't have any insurance for they can um, help us with my brother's injuries. The title of our expedition is Epic Tales of Human Rights. Mostly for the children to have like a better education. Today in crew, we held a discussion about their connection to human rights and what they can do to foster human rights in the world. Uh, the law of education is Article 26. Everyone has the right to an education. Discussions are great to be held in the crew meeting just because the kids feel safe at that moment. 
my parents had to find health care for them and for my baby brother. It really gets to the core of, of humanity, really, of surviving and doing what you need to do. When we went to the hospital, they told her that it was going to take a long time. They were in the, both in the hospital, so they had to look for somewhere for you and your brother to stay while they were both in the hospital. When kids are opening up and sharing, I think that I just try to be supportive and make sure I'm listening and that all the other students are listening too and being respectful. As a facilitator, one of the most important things you can do is make sure that the other students are respectful of that person as well. Letting them know beforehand with the learning target. I can be compassionate through looking at the speaker and being an active listener and that they're able to share that in our crew and, and feel feel safe with that. They can see that their story is not the only story and I think it makes our class stronger. Here at Meadow Glen, we are a very large school. We like to say that we are ELXL. We build relationships here, especially through crew. That's our number one way of building those relationships. And in my particular crew, our expedition was take a stand. Crew gives our students the voice to take a stand for something that they believe in and, and they get behind. The students wrote all five for a whole week, all five crew lessons, so that they could bring awareness to mental health across the whole school for sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. It's okay to be not okay, but it's not okay to not get help. When you're talking about suicide prevention or self-love or just mental health in general, it's very stigmatized in like our society. But we want to be sure to address this topic with you because it is something that you guys shouldn't be afraid to talk about. We're just happy to be giving you the information you need to know. I think it's best to be honestly pushed to where you're not in your comfort zone, you're in a little bit of a stretch zone. These kids really got to realize, okay, so this is a big deal with my age group. And so if I'm ever put in a position, I should know what to do or I should know what to say. What are some signs to watch out for if you think someone needs help and we're just gonna do a look around? They'll probably like isolate themselves from their friend group and they won't wanna talk about it and they will just kinda feel alone. We were assigned to groups based on our passions and my passion was um, veterans because my granddad was actually in the Air Force for about 40 years. It was really interesting to see how like the passions overlap. So veterans also often struggle with suicide because they're suffering from severe emotional distress from returning home from the war, which is PTSD. We did write the crew lessons, but it was also supposed to function as a crew and not like a normal classroom. It's a more like friendly environment, like a student that like gets what you're going through and has been where you are right now. It's really important to like have information. You could realize the symptoms of if one of your friends is going through this mental health issue, it's better to help them out than to just do nothing about it. I want to portray an attitude towards them so that they know they can talk to me and that I'm here for them and they're loved. It's not a teacher just feeding you information about like suicide or self-love. It's like kids having an actual conversation about it. I can go to one of my other family members that will actually talk to me, and even my church. I'm just so proud that it was student-led, that they were comfortable enough to talk about these really tough topics. We get these social interactions that we've never experienced before in crew, and that's what EL does. They push us out, and they really teach us what we're supposed to do in these situations, and that's what crew is for.